algorithm exercises. This is part of IBIT theory. This follows on from the how to do algorithms video, which um, was done previously. Exercise one. A person buys three articles of clothing. The prices need to be inputted. The prices exclude VAT. Determine the total of the prices excluding VAT the VAT at 14% and the final total including VAT. Output all three calculated amounts. Here's the solution. Input price 1, comma, price 2, comma, price 3. Then we work out the total excluding VAT, which will be price 1 plus price 2 plus price 3. Work out the VAT which will be totally excluding VAT times 0.14. We work out the total. It's set to total excluding VAT plus VAT. And we output total excluding VAT, VAT and total. So it's quite a straightforward solution. You can see that you just go step by step through the question and then put each bit of the question into the algorithm. Um, this, is, this was quite a simple question. Exercise 2. Display a menu giving a choice of converting a temperature in Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. Input the menu choice and input the temperature. Do the conversion, then print both temperatures. And then the, they've given you the formula F equals 9 divided by C plus 32. So let's think about it. We're going to have to output a menu and think of how to word that. Then we'll have to input two things and then we'll need an if to do the conversion because the formula will be different if they want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit than Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay, let's look at the solution. Display this is the menu. 1 equals convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. 2 equals convert Fahrenheit to Celsius. Input choice. Input temperature. If choice equals 1, then we want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. So then if equals 9 divided by 5 times temperature, which was the temperature we inputted, plus 32. And then we display the result. Celsius, comma, temperature, comma, Fahrenheit, comma, F. Else, this is if the person chose 2, then C, with the, with the Celsius temperature, is, gets set to the temperature minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. And we display Fahrenheit, comma, temperature, comma Celsius comma C and we end the if and that's the end of the exercise. Exercise 3 is input three words, print the longest word. So we input all three words and now there's no uh, algorithm syntax for finding the length of a, a word so we just write it out and explain what we want to do. Find the number of characters in each word and put it in len1, len2 and len3. If len1 is greater than len2 and len1 is greater than len3, then the longest word is word1. So we just put set longest gets assigned the length the word word1. Else this is a nested else if um, len2 is greater than len1 and len2 is greater than len3, then longest equals word2. Else longest equals word3. And then we end the if and we end the outer if. And last of all, we output the longest word is comma longest. Exercise 4. Display the following menu. Print a line of 10 red stars 
um, that was A, B is print a line of 10 blue stars, and C is quit. Input the menu choice. Call a method using a parameter for either of the first two choices, that's A or B, and then after a short delay, redisplay the menu until quit is chosen. So let's go to the solution. We're going to do it with a, a method. As they said, they want you to call a method. So we have the main part of the program where we'll call the method from is begin main. Then we're going to do a do while loop to redisplay the menu again and again until the person chooses C for quit. So in the do while, we first display the menu. Then we input the choice. And then we do a switch case. On the choice, A will be, we'll call the print stars method with red in brackets, B print stars with blue, and that will be the end of the switch case. And then we do end the do while loop with as long as the choice is not equal to C, we will repeat the do while loop. And that's the end of the main part of the program. In the method, we've got method print stars and in brackets col, which will be the parameter. Change text color to col. Then we have a for loop with a counter going from 1 to 10, and we output the star. Without a new line at the end of the line, that is um, similar to the system.out.print in Java. And then we end the loop. We output a new line when we get to the end of the 10 stars we need to go enter and that's the end of the method exercise 5 in a simple number game the computer generates a random number between 1 and 100 inclusive the player has to try to guess the number by inputting guesses and receiving responses until they get it right then a congratulatory message is printed So we've got the random number being generated, the input guess, while guess is not equal to num, we'll decide, we'll give different messages if guess is less than num, then we're going to write too low to our user. Remember write it as just a different word for display or output, you can do what, choose which one you prefer. And else, if guess is not less than num, then we'll say it's too high. And that's the end of that little if. And then we need to input a new guess and end the while loop. The loop will only end when guess is equal to num. And in that case, we will say Congratulations, you guessed it. Exercise 6. Generate and print the following pattern of stars. So it's a, a triangle with one star, then two, then three, then four, then five stars at the bottom row. So we have a loop counter from loop for loop one, count one from one to five. And the inner loop will count from 1 to count 1, which is the outer loop's um, number. So we will then um, output stars, as many stars as count 1 is, and then end the loop. Every time we end the loop, loop 2, we move to the beginning of the next line, and then we end loop 1. This is just a nice example of a nested for loop. Exercise 7. Stand, store 10 lowercase letters in an array. Display them in alphabetic order. Ask the user to input a letter and search for the letter. Display a message on the screen in, indicating whether the item was found or not. Exercise 7 solution. 
begin main. We declare the array character colon letters 10 and then we call the four methods here. The method input data loops from 0 to 9 and we input the let the all of the 10 characters which must go into the array. Then method sort data is basically a selection sort very similar to how you do it in Java. Um, for loop 1 count 1 from 0 to 8 which is one below the end of the array. For loop 2 count 2 from 0 to count 1. If letters count 2 is greater than letters count 1 then we swap the two letters around using temp. Then method display data we do a for loop count from 0 to 9 and output letters count end loop end method display data method search for data we input the search item found equals false we do a for loop count from 0 to 9 if letters count equals search item then found equals true count equals 9 and end the if then we end the loop if found equals true then output search item found else output search item not found and we end the if and then we end the method search for data.